What is Zarahipt? To be specific and to the point, like I should have been at the start. So, in order to explain what Zarahipt is, we're going to have a look at Terahipt, which is the title that I have assigned to this fictional universe of mine. A lore that's more than just something to write a story about. As some of you know, I've grown up as a bit of a doof. A doof with a brain like slime. Too slimy to adapt to rules and theoretical problems. So during this whole bumbling childhood of mine, I had to come up with my own base network to make sense of the world. A network of which I've established from just pure logic, reflected from pure facts from the real world. And my brain, who is so selfish to only work when using the most simple slash obvious solution, just loves that shit. So, I hear you ask, what the fuck does this have to do with my fictional lore? Well, now I tell you. My lore is like a manifestation of the real world. A mirror reality where I practice problems and issues in a fun way. And it's like the most fun thing to do, because I've learned so much by trying to make this fictional world logically work by applying real chemistry, geology, biology, physics, astronomy, and psychology. Plus a few hypothetical elementary particles. Just to explain stuff like this. Hugh. And I'm still learning and tweaking things in this lore 24-7. It's never static, really. It keeps changing as I learn new things about the world and such. So that's one of the reasons why I don't write a novel about it, really. So, is there a purpose for this lore? Not really. It's just something that has been a part of my life. Something that I've grown up with. Now, what is Zerahipt? Zerahipt is kind of a fictional fact book. An interactive program of which you can use to explore and interact with this fictional world. With the help of your one and only bunny swallower, Piritsuka. I can personally say that this is not a game. For brain reasons. It's not supposed to be built as one. No goals. No objectives. Serahipt works in such a fashion together with the lore of Terahipt where Peritsuka is about the only one you can use to fully explore Enkidros with. Because she is a top overseer, which means that she is allowed access almost anywhere without a special pass. So that's one of the main reasons why I can't really have different looking characters strolling around top secret areas. Which might piss some people off who does not want to have their screen looking like a mammogram display. So yes, Zerahipt is literally a world viewer that you're being dropped into without guidance, except RMB plus Q.